hello to anyone who is watching. So um, today I'm going to talk about some facts about me and um, and that's of course because I am hilarious. Not really, but um, some people think I am, especially myself. Okay, but yeah, so um, let's just jump right into it. I have some facts here or, you know, questions on my phone and I don't think they're called anything specific, not, you know, 10 facts or 20 facts or 25 questions or anything. It's just a list of, I guess, like random questions I've found. So, um... Okay, let's just get started. Um, first one, do you have a crush? Well, um, yeah, I do have a crush on my boyfriend, but um, I mean like a celebrity crush or something like that. Um, I don't know. Um, okay, if I have to choose someone who's not a Danish um, celebrity, like a more global person, and if it has to be a guy, <laughs> um, I think, well, I'll probably change my mind in a second, but the guy from um, Suits, not the, not the character called Mike, but the other one, like that guy in real person of course so um yeah that was the first one moving on what's your middle name well fun fact i do not have a middle name i have a first name which is sophie and a last name so uh nothing special other than princess no just kidding Um, okay, so what's your shoe size? Oh, wow. Um, I have really tiny feet because I'm a really tiny ass person. Um, but I think uh, my shoe size in UK sizing is a 3. And then in the European size, I am a 36. So nothing more. Sometimes less. I mean, sometimes in high heels. I can go for a um, 35, but like that's like one pair of shoes I've tried. That's not too well. 36 or UK 3. Okay, moving on. Eye color. My eye color, well, it's different. Um, it changes a lot. It is more... Um, when it's really, really bright, uh, it's more blue, but when it's not as bright, it's more like this, you know, like a deep uh, bluish. It can look green, but it actually does not have any green in it whatsoever. It's a deep blue gray, something like that. So, yeah. Okay, so moving on. The last time you cried, uh, well, I think because I saw I mean like I'm dumb like that I mean I am a big crier I can like cry like but um, <laughs> it was not particularly that but I remember not so long ago I saw some you know clips or I think it was teasing clips for the new season of Teen Mom OG and I was like Watching a lot of those clips about, uh, is she called Caitlin? The, the, the couple where they had to, like, uh, give away their firstborn, and then, uh, she's called Carly, and, like, how they deal with that. And stuff. Then I cried, you know. That was, yeah. So, but I'm a big crier. I'm a very emotional person. I think, um, but I'm not petty, you know what I mean? Like, 
if it's something that has to do with love or people I really, really care about, I cry. Like, there was no tomorrow. And I, I cry really hard. Like, it's not like, I'm more like, ah! I'm a Kim K crier. That's what I'm saying. Just really loud also. Okay, so moving on. Biggest fear. Like, I know this. I know this about myself. My biggest fear um, is dying. I know that when you are dead, you obviously won't know or live on like, like this life. If people believe there is an afterlife, I really, really try to completely, fully believe that there might be something after that I will still be something and my soul will live on or something like that but the fear of dying from this life is extreme and in general understanding death like I just said it's really hard for me like I can't wrap my head around it and also in addition to that um, my biggest fear is when or how do you say this like my biggest fear is how I can possibly live on without my grandma and my mother like when they're or when they are gone and like basically that's my biggest fear um, of right now is if they're gone you know just like that so um and especially with my grandparents, I mean, they are, um, I believe they are like 78, which is old and, and stuff like that, but they're still like, I, I see them as really fresh and, you know, still young in, in some ways. But, oh my god, if they just died on me like that, I would be devastated. And also, I try my hardest not to have any regrets, just to spend as much time with them as I possibly can, even though we live, like, in separate cities, like, a little bit far away from each other, but, you know. Okay, enough of that. Moving on, um, the last song I listened to... Oh, I don't know. I think it was maybe either Starboy or the new one, um, or New List. One of them. Also, the one with um, Daft Punk. I feel it. Yeah, I feel it coming. I think that's what it's called. Mm, yeah. Okay. So moving on. Last person you texted. The last person I texted was my best friend. So, yeah. Okay, and the next question, next question um, uh, your relationship status? Well, I have, I, I have a boyfriend, <laughs> so, yeah, which is pretty serious. We've been together for a long time and all that jazz. So, yeah, nothing new. Uh, okay, this one sucks. Um, my favorite sports team? I hate sports, like really, like really, really, not any sports whatsoever. The most boring thing I could possibly do with my life is like sitting in a couch watching sports. Like the most exciting thing about that, like watching um, soccer or anything like that would be if there uh, was beer. Like, basically, I do not enjoy it. Um, you know, it's, it's, you know. Moving on, my favorite color. It is black. I love black. Black is the most real thing to me. Um, and basically, I would not be able to live without black. Okay, who's your best friend? Well, as mentioned, I do have a best friend. Um, she is called Maria and we have been basically best friends from the time we first met um, and we have been best friends for I'm 
I'm not sure, but I think. Four or five years. Yeah, I think. I think around that. So. Okay, who is your favorite celebrity? Oh, well, um, to be just honest, uh, my favorite celebrity is Kim Kardashian, and also Chloe. Like I am obsessed with her. Um, but Kim is my all-time favorite. So Kim Kardashian, Kim K, superstar. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have any scars? Do you have like physical or psychological scars? No, um, I do have a scar on my leg from when I was a child. Um, I was living on a, I don't know what's that called in English, but you know, a farm, but it's not a farm anymore. It's just a land property, I, I think. Well, uh, the thing was that in the garage that used to be a place you keep animals, um, my dad had some uh, glass, like window glass or something like that, which wasn't, you know, um, dealt with. So I basically just um, like ran into it or something like that. I was on my bicycle or something was like that and then it just caught a breaking ass hell deep. Um, uh, deep in my leg, so I've got that for a while. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the only thing really. Okay, have you ever kissed anyone? Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm a big kisser, not that I kiss everyone, but I am very touchy touchy with my friends like I'm not the one I'm not a person who's really good at saying I care so much about you you're a really good friend I'm more someone who like lay my arms around them and do like little air kisses and kisses on the cheek and stuff like that so okay is there someone you hate um no um I feel like hate is something that should not exist. It is a um, thing that you should just try to see as something that's not there because hate is not a healthy thing for anyone. So um, I believe in the Lauren Conrad uh, forgive and forget. So have I ever done drugs? Well, I have tried, I think, two times to smoke marijuana and I did not like it. I do not, I do not believe in it either. I think it's stupid as hell. Any drugs, I mean like for just uh, enjoyment, I think you call it, non-medical drugs. Um, I do not agree with them and uh, I basically just tried it to fit in with the crowd. I was... Uh, I wanted to be a part of back in my youth, but um, I did not like it. I got both times a major headache and it was awful and it was not fun at all. I mean, I believe it's more fun and more enjoyable just to eat a shitload of candy. So my height, uh, I don't know anything about the feet scale as much, but I am sure that I am one meter and 56 centimeters. And that's not really like, I'm not tall at all. I believe I am as tall as Kylie Minogue. I think maybe also Kourtney Kardashian. Not sure. Either way, I'm a teeny tiny girl with a big mouth. Okay, so are you currently happy? Yes, I am very happy. I just moved and I just finished all my exams. Um, I study at uh, 
the Southern University of Denmark, where I study design and culture. Um, I am really happy at the moment. Okay, next question, because this is, like, long. Do you drink? And if they are referring to alcohol, then yes, honey, I do. Um, because I work at a bar, and I've been working um, there for the last, well, in September, or the, in the end of August, it has been now four years, so. Yeah. Okay, the last thing I bought through I was the race. Yeah. The last thing I ate. Tuna on a piece of bread. Uh day or night. Do I prefer day or night? Well obviously in the day you look the best in your selfie pictures. But, um, no, I prefer the night, I guess, in the weekends, because I like to go out, and I always do work uh, at night. So, um, you know, that's where all the fun happens. So, my favorite lyric, like, I'm not really sure what that means. Is it, what's your favorite, like, saying? Well, my favorite saying, for that matter, is um, everything happens for a reason. So, um, Do you give second chances? Yes, I do. Because if someone did you wrong and they're determined to make it up to you, and you want them in your life and they mean a lot to you, then sure. Because I've made mistakes myself, and I would like to be given second chances if I am sincere about it. So... Pet peeve. Oh yeah, I do. I have some pet peeves. Uh, two things that I definitely cannot stand is um, first, and I'm not here to offend anyone because I see the practical points in them, but denim shorts or just shorts on top of leggings. Or stockings or whatever. Nope. That's a nope. For me. It's tacky. It's not classy. It's not fashionable. It's everything ugly in the book, basically. So, and oftentimes, and I'm just being, you know, like generalizing, oftentimes it's not really girls, mostly that really have a sense of style and when you don't have a sense of style you should know that you do not have a sense of style and maybe you should just stick with basic but no and also girls who have their phone in their bra or in their back pocket and as I said I, as I said before I do see the practical points of them I believe I've done it myself at desperate times where I don't have pockets or you know I do see it I get it I get it I get it yeah no that's why I care a clutch when I go dancing in the city no it's just not pretty I mean it looks cheap to me okay a random fact I my natural hair color is red not many people uh uh, my current mood, I'm really happy, as I said. Last book I read, uh, something school-related, for sure. Are you the jealous type? I do get jealous, but no, jealousy is not something I would... I would say that it's a personal... Or, or I mean, a personality trait for me. Of course, I do get jealous, you know, sometimes you're like, you know, with the side eye. But I wouldn't say that I'm jealous overall. When is your birthday? Well, it is the 17th of August. And I was born in 1995. Oh, yeah. Getting high old. Obsession? Uh, well, obsession as well. I am obsessed with myself. No, that's a lie. Um, 
I am obsessed. Wow, that was a loud noise. I'm obsessed with um, um, interior design. I'm obsessed with The Sims 4. I'm obsessed with makeup. And I'm obsessed with fashion. Or not fashion, but more like clothing. I don't know. <laughs> so, okay, my favorite song. Uh, my favorite songs, I would say, are definitely um, Roses Are Red um, by Accra and um, Diamonds by Mariah Carey. Okay, my worst mistake. Worst mistake. I feel like uh, I'm the person you live and you learn. Um, and that, you know, your action has consequences and they determine your future. And right now I'm in a really good place. So my worst mistake. Okay, one thing I do regret that isn't secret or too personal is that um, I once slept with a guy that my best friend also slept with around the same time, like within the same year or something like that. And I never told her. Um, and she actually just found out, like, I believe a little, like, a tiny year ago. And, like, everybody else knew. And that was really, like, not honest from my part. And I do regret that a lot. Because I would have known that maybe she would have been mad. But she wouldn't have, like, unfriended me. <laughs> so, um, someone I trust. Well, I 100% uh, trust my best friend. Do you believe in love? Yeah, I do believe in love. A lot. And I do think that... Love is not only between, um, I was about to say a man and a woman, but love is not only a love relationship where you, um, you know, have sex and all that. Love can also be really strong between friends, and I highly believe in that. Um, and I also, I mean, like, love is the most important thing to me, at least, and I feel the most dumb thing you can ever do in life is to be with someone you don't really love or or if the person is just not really loving you so that's the most important thing and then the last person a person question are you okay hell yeah i am so that was it this um turned out to be a quite long video so i would just end it there um if any of you are more curious to um, who I am and want to know more about me, please um, leave a comment, uh, you know, something like that. And if you're interested uh, in my Instagram or something like that, uh, the, user, the username is the same as to uh, my channel on YouTube. So um, thank you so much for... Um, listening to my chat so um see you another time